bit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory, Hallelujah. glory, Thank glory you, to God. For this time. Oh, bless the name Amen. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Have your Hallelujah. way in this place. Oh, glory. Have your way, oh God, in this place. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, God, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Amen. hallelujah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Come on in this place. Let's worship God. Greetings, greetings. God's face. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, worthy. Ha. Huh? Yes, God. Oh, yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Friday night live. Hallelujah. We are indeed. God Glory to God. God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Welcome, oh, welcome. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you and we praise you, God, for who you are. God, we thank you and we praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all that you have done all that you're doing and all that you are Hallelujah. yet to do. God, yes. we thank you and we praise you. Hallelujah. You, for Hallelujah. keeping us for this day. Time, Lord we God. You, Lord, and we praise your name, Lord, oh God. To God in Lord, for making a way out of no way. We thank Lord. you, Lord God, for being our healer, Lord. for being our deliverer, Hallelujah. for being the one who sanctifies Hallelujah. us. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah for allowing us one more encounter with you, God. Hallelujah. We thank Hallelujah. you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for your anointing on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 For shifting atmosphere spheres across this nation and around the world. God, we thank you and we praise you. Hallelujah. How you're going to do a new thing on tonight, God, because your word says, behold, I am doing a new thing. Hallelujah. Now, don't you see it? It shall spring forth. Glory to God. You will make the rivers and roll in the wilderness. God, I thank you and I praise you. Hallelujah. If you are a promise keeping God, I thank you and I praise you, God, that you're faithful even when we're not, God. You are yet faithful yes. to us, Lord. And so, God, we worship you on tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We worship you on tonight glory. for bringing hallelujah. us here again to worship yes. you, to praise hallelujah. you. Oh, oh glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We praise you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Shift, shift, shift Hallelujah. atmospheres, God. We thank you. Glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. For all that you will do. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I thank you and I praise you for the woman of God tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. <laughs> I thank you, Lord. Yes. God, you've already filled her. You've yes. already prepared her, God. Hallelujah. You've already anointed her for such a time as this. Hallelujah. So, God, we look forward to your outpouring on us tonight. We look forward to your spirit moving tonight. Hallelujah. We look forward to you, God. Mm. Oh, yes, God, overshadowing us with Hallelujah. your presence. Now, God, I pray that you would take control over the live stream. I pray, God, you take control, Father, over the women who pray over prayer intensifies new knowledge. I thank you that you're taking control over glory to God, restored to greatness. I pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, continue to use us, oh God, for your glory. Yes. Use us, God, for your glory to reach those that are lost, those that are hurting, those that are despised your voice. God, use us to be the impact. Yes. For your kingdom, oh God, I pray. Oh, in hallelujah. the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, my God in heaven. My God in heaven. My hallelujah. God in heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God, anoint our ears that we can hear. Oh, yes. yes. Hallelujah. Oh, what the Spirit is saying. Hallelujah. Yes, God. <laughs> Have your way, oh God, I pray. Yes, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. And the saints of God will shout amen, amen, amen. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we worship you. Jesus. Oh, God, we worship you. Oh God, we worship you. Welcome, welcome, Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, God. We worship you. 
Well, oh God, we worship you. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. Oh yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh God, thank you, Father. Thank you that your word will go forth with power. Hallelujah. Oh, your word will go forth with power. Hallelujah. Your word will go forth. Oh, glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, my God in heaven. Oh, my God in heaven. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, my, 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 my. I am excited, 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 excited. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. About tonight. I'm excited. But I'm excited about this whole month of May. Hallelujah. Uh, Friday Night Live in Amen. May will be all the way off all the charts, off the ch- chain. It, Amen. Ooh, Friday Night Live Amen. in May. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Woo. And then on Glory Saturday, we have winning with my sisters at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We got some hot topics to share with you over the month of May. Glory to God. Glory. I am, I am, I am humbled. I am honored. (laughs) (laughs) When you can reach out, you know, in the very beginning, God said that he would, take me places if i trusted him in this process oh glory I trusted him in this thing that he's doing yes. in, through me by me for me, me if i trust him yes he would take me places that i've only heard about and read about come if on, i come trust on. him come on and i said okay lord let's do it your way come on <laughs> hallelujah and so while I'm expecting to set foot, and I'm still expecting to set foot in London, England one day, Amen. <laughs> Amen. we have now that thing called internet. We have now Glory. a Have live you? stream. Amen. 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 And it is 3 a.m. Yes. England time, London, England time. Amen. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Oh, my, my, my. Glory. And we are blessed to have in our presence my new sister, my new friend. Amen. Oh, the founder of Restore to Greatness Ministries. Amen. And I'm also going to say the the founder of the Women Who Pray UK. Glory. Amen. <laughs> I receive it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Evangelist Elysia Wells. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. She is the founder of Restore to Greatness Women's Ministry and host of Restore to Greatness Hour, which broadcasts every Tuesday at 9 p.m. UK time. And so I'm guessing that's early in the morning for us. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> the Lord has given her uh, the tongue of the learned to speak a word in season to one who is weary according to Isaiah 50 and verse four, oh. a tongue educated by various facets of pain and a life showered in immeasurable grace of God, oh. a calling to minister to all women, especially those who have suffered various trauma and desire to be healed and restored in order to truly walk in greatness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want a bio like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome to women who pray. We welcome to the women, to the prayer intensified new knowledge to Friday night live. Hallelujah. Live stream. My dear sister, my friend, who's bringing the word tonight, she's going to preach, pray, prophesy, however the Lord leads her. Evangelist Elysia Wells, restored to greatness ministry. Hallelujah. Everybody needs somebody to put up. (laughs) Yes. Welcome, welcome, my sister, my friend. It has been an absolute pleasure. 
Thank you so, so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, beautiful Pastor Dawn Adams. I greet you in the matchless, the matchless name of Jesus Christ. He is our soon and coming King. Amen. And I just want to greet everybody on the live as well. Those who I don't know, we've got some people that are looking in from other parts of the world who have invited. Their, their time scales a little, they're a bit nearer to your time zone than mine. <laughs> <laughs> but they're here and we're so welcome that they're joining as well. So God bless you and God bless all the beautiful queens. Hallelujah. Daughters of a king. Queens yes. in their own right because of who God says that you are. Hallelujah. I just give God all of the praise. I give him all the glory. You know, there's something beautiful about when you know God for yourself. Hallelujah. And I don't need anybody to, to, to come and to come and try and persuade me. Hallelujah. Because I'm already fully persuaded. Hallelujah. When you encounter him for yourself, I'm telling you, and you know who God is. Oh, don't get me started. I'm I'm not even starting. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just let Holy Spirit help me to sit real, real help me to sit still real quick. Mm -hmm. so, um, I'm going to share with you tonight, Sister Pastor Dawn Adams has prayed. I'm going to pray if that's okay. Um, I like to pray before the mm -hmm. Lord um, will have his way and the Holy Spirit would would, would, would use me for his glory. So um, please just be prayerful at this time while we pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight. Mm -hmm. We come to you tonight because thou art worthy of all the praise and all of the glory in this place. Lord, I come before you, Lord, with an expectant heart tonight. We are expectant, Lord. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. I welcome you into this place tonight to come and take charge over this atmosphere. Yes, yes. I feel yes. that the water is troubled tonight. Somebody will step on in and receive what they have been calling on God for tonight. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for the woman of God. I thank you for the connection. I thank you for the life of each and every woman on the live, those who watch the replay, hallelujah, and the women connected to those on the live. Hallelujah. I thank you for going to go through. Use me for your glory. Hide me behind yes, the lipstick and the makeup and the earrings. And we know it's all there, but hide that behind and let your word just go forth tonight, Lord God. Mm. The kind of word tonight, Lord, that chases demons out of people's lives. The kind of word that comes to, 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 to heal the deep parts of somebody's soul tonight. Somebody needs to be delivered Meet them at the point of need tonight. Expectant hearts have come out to hear from you this evening. And we're fully persuaded that thou art able yes. to perform your word. Yes. Sanctify me tonight in this place. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wash me and cleanse me and sanctify me before you deliver your word through this oracle this evening. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Saints yeah. of God, I'm going to be sharing with you this evening a little bit about my journey, um, how it all started, um, how I've reached where I am now. I didn't, I wasn't always sitting in this place and it's taken a lot to get here and I'm still on a journey. Mm -hmm. But I believe that um, we are able to Women should be able in the Lord to strengthen one another, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. encourage one another. We shouldn't be cutting each other. We should just yes. be sharpening. Is that okay? Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I was brought up in the church. Love the Lord with all my heart. Serving him hit my teen years. And like some girls, you know, got a little bit distracted in the teens as you mm -hmm. do. And, mm -hmm. and in the 20s and in the 30s, a little bit every now and then as well. But God is still God, amen. And my heart still pants for him 
as the deer panteth for the water. Amen. And so my soul, hallelujah, is eternally longing after so much more of him. Let me speak to you today from a scripture by which my calling, I believe, is founded on so much of the of the, the Bible, the ministry specifically, the ministry specifically has been founded upon this particular scripture. Mm -hmm. Um, the scripture Isaiah 50 and 4, and I'm going to walk you through that. And so if you've got um, a notepad, if you've got a pen, this is going to be an encouraging word, but also a bit of a teaching to help you and journey along the way and for God to pull out of you mm -hmm. that which he has deposited on the inside. Is mm -hmm. that OK? Yes. Isaiah 50 and 4. The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how, how to speak a word in season to one who is weary. Mm -hmm. He wakeneth morning by morning. And the Bible then goes on to repeat again. He wakeneth my ear to hear mm -hmm. and to learn it. Mm -hmm. He's saying tonight, well, how did you get this word? Did you just fall upon it? Did somebody give it to you? Did somebody come and tell you? No. Back in 2010, well, before that, but I'm going to go back to about 2007, really, to be honest. I started to feel, I got grew up in the church, but baptised much later, just mm -hmm. because I wanted to do it. Not because my dad had said, well, you should be baptised now, but because I was in a place where I understood what was going to be expected of me. And although at some points in life, one has fallen slightly short of that, as we all have, um, this, it was for me to make that decision um, mm -hmm. to be to, to be baptized in the Lord and to take that next step. But in 2007, I became, in 2008, very frustrated. I was feeling like some of you, you may identify with this. I was feeling like a ship without a sail. Mm -hmm. I felt like the circumstance of life was actually, um, I was going adrift. Mm -hmm. Life itself mm -hmm. was carrying me and I was not in control of the ship that mm -hmm. I was sailing, which was the ship of my life. Mm -hmm. I knew that God had his hand upon me, but I was frustrated. I felt like the ebbs and flows. You know, when we talk about this, the sea, the sea, the tides, the waves, it's like an ebb and flow. It's up and it's down. It's up and it's down. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt that my life was, that I was. And I'm saying to God, there's got to be more. I'm saying I'm a mother. I'm a daughter. I'm a granddaughter. I'm a sister. I'm a friend. I'm a member of the church. I'm, a, I'm an employee. But there's got to be something more. Mm -hmm. There's more to a woman than either just, you know, we're looked at in society as, oh, somebody, women that just have children or you're just a wife or you're just an employee or you're just someone's sister, maybe, or you're just someone's friend or you're just the usher in the church and you should just right. be satisfied that that's all you're doing. Yeah. The devil is a liar. He's <laughs> always been a liar and we mm -hmm. should believe in him anytime, anytime, because that's who he is. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My God. I started to say to God, what's next? <laughs> what's next? I don't want to waste my life. What is next? For too many women, years pass them by. Yeah. yeah. And they, they look back at their lives and they're thinking, well, and one of the things that I've noticed, and by God's grace, I'll be 40 next year. By his grace. Yes. And I... I've noticed, I say to my mum and she laughs, I say, since I hit my middle 30s, the years are going really quickly. <laughs> they seem to be, we're coming into June. Well, well, well it was just December. Mm -hmm. The time seems to be moving mm -hmm. so quickly. Yes. And she said to me, that's what happens when you're coming into those years in life. It goes it's like that. Wow. And in London, for those of you that don't know London, it's very fast paced. Everybody mm -hmm. goes to 
the city of London. Everybody's walking like this in rush hour in the morning, like in Manhattan. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Mm -hmm. But life moves very quickly. And I started to say to God, who am I? Who am I? What's my identity in you? Who am I? Mm -hmm. Who do you say I am? Ooh. What was the purpose of me being here? I started to seek God, ladies, for direction. Because I was starting to become, and some of you may understand this when I say this, I started to become internally frustrated beyond reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was frustrated. And I believe, I didn't get it then, but now I've, I've come to know through the experiences Mm -hmm. That it was God who caused my soul to be restless. Ooh. He caused it to be restless. Wow. Because when you, hallelujah, when you are too comfortable and you're mm -hmm. sitting, mm -hmm. there's nothing in you to hunger for more. Right. He caused the restless spirit in me to bring wow. me to a place to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable beyond reason mm -hmm. that in the night I would be twisting and turning, mm -hmm. getting up, going to the toilet, coming back, sitting on the bed and sitting there like this in the night, <laughs> laying in the bed and twisting and turning and twisting and turning. And you're in a daytime and you're at work and you're just kind of, you're, you're, you're saying to God when you're driving, what's going on? What's going on? Nothing was satisfying me. Wow. Even being a mum, I've got two children now, but even being a mum at the time, it, it, that was rewarding, being a daughter, having a good job. All that was great. But there was something missing. My purpose and the knowledge of who I am in God yeah. and the understanding of that and what that mm -hmm. looks like, that mm -hmm. was missing. Mm -hmm. I knelt down at the bed. I had had enough. Mm -hmm. And I let, I knelt down at the foot of the bed. I said, I cried out to God one day on a Sunday after church. And I said, you've got to help me. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm just desperate. I'm desperate. I can't go on like this. You've got to, you've, there's got to be more. Mm -hmm. And then I heard the word learned, learned tongue. I was hearing that whisper and I thought I'm looking around the room learn it learn it learn it I'm looking around the room thinking hey and then I open the Bible and my eyes hit the right hand sides of the Bible yeah and there it was Isaiah 50 and 4 the learned tongue mm -hmm. yes the yeah. way in which the Lord revealed that word to me was powerful, powerful, powerful beyond reason. Mm -hmm. I spoke to a leader at the time and I explained to him, I was excited about this word, but I didn't know what was, what it, I didn't know how I was going to get it started. What, what did it mean? I didn't know. And nothing more really came. We just talked about the word. And he said, oh, please, some people wait a lifetime to, 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 to receive a word like that in that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then you know what happened? Because the devil likes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. The distractions came. Wow, yeah. One thing about me, I'm very transparent. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that in order for people to identify with your real you need to be transparent i'm not yeah. saying that your whole yeah. life story needs to be an open book yes. not everything is for everybody's knowledge right, right but there are key elements as a woman that are relatable and are very relevant mm -hmm. so i'm going to touch on just a couple just mm -hmm. skim over yes yes distractions started to come mm -hmm. in the form of men Mm -hmm. Not that I was running around with all men. I'm just saying distractions mm -hmm. came in the form of men. Mm -hmm. People that wanted to just sit on the phone and you're chatting away and your, your time 
that should really be spent continuing to seek out God for this word became a little bit, oh, how's the day? Oh, yeah. And you're chatting away on the phone and your conversation is, it's not, it's not untoward. It's just a distraction. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, and when, you, when you get into that zone, you, you're not seeing it as a distraction. Now you're back to the ship without a sail mm. syndrome. Right, 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 right. You're back there. And as time went on, the Holy Spirit was tugging at me. He's tugging at me and he's drawing me and he's tugging at me. Mm-hmm. And I could feel it. There was a major internal fight going on. I was following what I'm going to call a systemat- systematic religious protocol. Rock up at church. You're there. You sing. You worship. You praise. You greet everyone. You smile and you nod and you go home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> it's, not it's not enough. It just won't do. When we're talking about purpose, when we're talking about God's work, it yeah. just won't do. Yes. My flesh was the problem. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. <laughs> flesh was the problem. It had not fully surrendered and had allowed access to that which the enemy had presented. The flesh was the problem. It now needed to be put back under subjection because now the the flesh was in the dominant position and Mm -hmm. the spirit was was raging as if to say, I gave her this word. Ain't no devil going to come and snatch that word from her. You better get yourself back into gear, Elysia Wells, and get moving quick. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I started to pray. I started to fast. I was back on my knees and... Less phone calls and getting back into it. But I still hadn't fully surrendered. There was still that little bit of me that mm. was all up in the flesh, just a little bit. Yes, yes, That's yes. my truth, Pastor. Mm-hmm. That's my truth. I was still was a bit of flesh. I was too fleshy still. Mm-hmm. And I was, and because I was fleshy, mm-hmm. and there was that little bit that was still desiring. There was a major wrestling and a war going on because of that. I was not able to absorb exactly what the Holy Spirit wanted to do on the inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because if you are fighting what the Holy Spirit wants to do, yes, you not absorbing it, you still too fleshy. And He's saying, no, 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 no. I need to be increasing. Mm-hmm. And you need to be decreasing. Right. And if you're right. going to be hell-bent on, I, I want the flesh, I want the flesh, I'm mm-hmm. just going to just sit right down here mm-hmm. because this can't work. Right, right. We both right. can't be up there. Your flesh and me can't be up there. Mm-hmm. You can't right. serve the devil and serve, and serve me. <laughs> yes. so because of that, Yes. and when you're in that zone, there's now a lack of discernment. Mm-hmm. Because the Holy, you need to be in the spirit and operating fully in order for discernment, in my opinion, to be fruitful and operational in your life. That's my experience. Mm. When you're not in that place fully, your discernment is off track. Your discernment is off track, period. Yes. Yes. This is where the enemy will creep in. Mm -hmm. And for women, as we know, how he creeps in mm-hmm. is in a number of different forms. But I tell yeah. you something now. Here I come to encourage someone today. Yes. 11 years on. 11 years on. Yes. Through it all, here I am using my experiences mm-hmm. to minister mm-hmm. the unadulterated, infallible, proven yeah. word of yeah. God. Yes. Here I am. The Lord has given me. I'm going to break down this scripture. Yes. Grab your pens if you haven't already. Get your pens. Get your pens. I'm ready. The Lord has given me. What does that mean? What did it mean to me? So what I'm going to te- talk to you about now, and comb through um, uh, in, a, in a timely fashion, I'm going to comb through what I have learned Mm-hmm. that scripture to mean how that scripture has become fruitful in my life mm-hmm. what that looked like and how I have been able to t- it's, it's tangible to touch it yes 
not like I'm reaching for something and I can't tell it's tangible. I've touched it. How did that scripture become evident? How can I prove that word and explain to you what it meant? I'm going to do that now. Yes. yes. God was confirming to me. The Lord hath given me We're in Isaiah 50 and 40. For those of you still locked in. The Lord has given me. What does it mean? He has given. That's what Isaiah was saying. He's given me. Okay. And to me, the Lord was confirming. He confirmed. And now I'm looking back now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was confirming to me that I was well suited for the work. He was confirming that I was well suited for what he was calling me to do. And like Isaiah, it was he that was calling me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the church leader. It wasn't my mum, it wasn't my dad, my sisters, my friend. It was God that was calling me. Because the Bible said, that scripture says, he, the Lord, has given me. Mm -hmm. Not go out there and search it. He, mm -hmm. has, the Lord, has mm -hmm. given me. Mm -hmm. So because he's given it to me, he wouldn't give it to me if he didn't know that I wasn't well suited. In right. the same way that he wouldn't give me more than I can bear. Right, right, right. Amen. He gives you what you can bear yeah. because he knows that you're built for a certain trial and a certain tribulation. Right. The same way that he knew what he was giving me to mm -hmm. do, he mm -hmm. knew that he was going to equip me. Mm -hmm. And it's so it's so funny. God's got a sense of humor. I always say it. He knew that I would stick it out. Yeah. He knew all those years ago I was going to be here now. Because the Bible in Psalms 139 tells me that he went ahead. He fashioned all of my days. He fashioned my days. Yes. So if he fashioned my days, he already knew that in 2021, I was going to be sitting here yes. on the 8th of May in the early hours of the morning. We've passed the door. Well, you're still in a different, in a, you're still in a day. But I'm already, I've already crossed over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He knew that I would be here because he's fashioned my days according yes. to his words. Yes. Yes. The way he was telling me, and when I look back now, ladies, what God was telling me, what he was telling me is that he was going to attentively, he was going to qualify me for the work. Mm. He had to qualify me. Now, how he was going to qualify me, oh, that's a different story now. We're going to get into that in a minute because that's the hard part. You can't just wake up today and say, I'm going to I'm going to go and practice law. I'm going to rock up in a courtroom and I'm going to go and just defend a criminal. <coughs> excuse me. And defend a criminal and mm -hmm. go and get him off. And he's going to be not guilty. You have to go and study. Mm -hmm. You've got to go through the process mm -hmm. You've got to go to the bar. You've got to get those. You've got to get a degree. You've got to study the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So He was going to have to qualify me. And if yeah. I knew what that was going to look like, Lord have mercy. Right, right. If I knew what that journey was going to look like, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you that I'm still here. Yes. Amen. Oh, what I didn't know is that this was a prophetic word. Mm -hmm. I yeah. didn't know it was a prophetic word. Yes. See, at the time, I just thought, well, I'm just reading and this is a word and it's going to happen now. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. It was a prophetic word. Yes. It was a word that he gave me. Mm -hmm. but he wasn't, and we'll talk about it. It wasn't ready to bear fruit. He was just, what he was doing, he, he because he saw I was desperate, he mm -hmm. decided to wet my palate. Yes. My spiritual palate. He just yes. dabbed it. He just dabbed it. And left me thirsty. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. would have mm -hmm. see him. He left me mm -hmm. thirsty. Mm -hmm. He decided in 2007, Pastor Dawn, to just mm -hmm. wet my spiritual palate. <laughs> and over the years, he was going to keep dabbing that palate. Yes. Yes. Glory to God, because he left me yes. thirsty. Yes. He left me thirsty. Yes. If on a summer's day, you just have a sick of something mm -hmm. you're thirsting for more yes the sip isn't enough i want the whole cup i want right. the whole glass right and still put some ice in it as well i yeah. need to my, my thirst needs to be quenched 
Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. I didn't even comprehend this word. That I didn't understand it, but I trusted that he mm -hmm. is the one who gave me the word, mm -hmm. especially because of the way in which he gave me the word. Right. It couldn't, it could be no one else but him because I heard him and there was the word. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. So like dear, oh, I was left thirsty. I was oh. left panting. And mm -hmm. sister Dawn, for so many years after, I was mm -hmm. panting through the trials and through the tribulations, mm -hmm. through the and the flows of life. I yeah. was panting yeah. for more of him. But yeah. I continue, I remain, I held on. Yes. Jesus. <clears throat> I mm -hmm. held on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the tongue of the learned. Yes. What does it mean? Ladies, you're going to be saying, what does it mean, the tongue of the learned? Some yeah. of you may have an idea, but I'm going to tell you what it's meant for me. Mm -hmm. It's taught me the obedience through suffering, like Job. <sighs> there is an obedience that is birthed out of suffering. I had lost my granddad, both of them, in a space of a couple of years. I'm blessed that both my grandmothers are still alive, actually. Amen. But I was, I learned obedience and through pain associated with the heart mm -hmm. in relationship. Mm -hmm. I had learned obedience mm -hmm. through pain and how to hold on to God in mm -hmm. spite of what was going on and had mm -hmm. gone on. Yes. For many women, when we experience issues pertaining to the heart, mm -hmm. it can be very difficult. And depending on the circumstances, it can produce either what is going to be, you're going to continue mm -hmm. to be faithful to God, or for some of you, you may drop back a little. There's been mm -hmm. times years ago in that space of time where I dropped a little and came up a little. I dropped mm -hmm. a little and came up a little. Because when you're dealing with trauma and hurt, when you're dealing with the ramifications of such things, mm -hmm. we have to understand as women that there is an that it has an effect. Yes. And it's only Jesus that can come in because he is the mender of broken hearts. Yeah. I want some, I yeah. just felt that yeah. for someone tonight on here. Yeah. I, want to, I don't know who it's for. I want you to know that God is a mender of broken hearts. Somebody feeling real disappointed in a love situation tonight, I want to tell you he's the mender of broken hearts. And God is just saying to you, I want you to be obedient mm -hmm. through the suffering because mm -hmm. he wants to educate your tongue through the pain. Ooh. <laughs> My tongue has been educated through the pain. Yes. Hallelujah. Through the ebbs and flows and through the storm. Yes. Hallelujah. The tongue, the learned tongue has mm -hmm. been educated. So you're going to ask me still, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. To be educated, for your tongue to be educated means that it's had to learn some things. Mm -hmm. It's had to mm -hmm. learn through experience. Yeah. Yes. So that through your experience, the tongue's being educated so that God, could, God will qualify you in that process. Yes. That is the qualification process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, the tongue is being educated, qualified in the process. So what? So that you can go forth and use your educated tongue to go and minister to someone else a word. Oh, we're going to get into that bit in a minute. Yes. But my specific calling mm. is telling me for what I want you to do, Elysia, I've got to qualify you. Which means this ain't going to be easy. I'm going to have to allow you to go through some stuff because for what you need to do, you're going to need to minister from a place of experience and not hearsay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Too many people ministering from a place of hearsay. Telling people, I know how you feel. I know about this. Oh, it's all right. Pat you on the shoulder. Oh, I know how you feel. You don't know nothing until you've been there. Yeah. Until you've had a husband who maybe cheated on you one day, you don't know nothing. Until maybe you've had a miscarriage, then you can talk to someone about it. Mm -hmm. If you've buried a baby, you've mm -hmm. had a miscarriage, you can tell someone about it. 
-hmm. If you've been abused, you can tell someone about it. Mm -hmm. If something happened to you as a child and somebody touched you in the wrong way, you can tell someone about it. I come to testify tonight. Unless you've had some church hurt along the way, and somebody that people that you thought were, were, were people of God who were supposed to represent his word and his love, and you were hurt and disappointed, mm -hmm. then you can come and talk to somebody about it because you are have a learned tongue. And then you have been qualified to minister on those specific areas. And this is the thing in the church. I think sometimes there's so many people ministering, leading, and, and that's fine. Be over the flock, yes. But still, they, you need people in positions who are relevant to those areas. No disrespect um, to anybody, Pastor Dawn, but a male pastor is going to have a very difficult job coming to sit next to a woman and just say, oh, you lost a baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're, you're having, you're, you're going through the menopause and it's affecting your marriage and your mm. husband wants some at a certain time in night and you're so hot and flustered that you just don't even want him to touch you. I mean, or you're going through it or it's the time mm. in the month and you're having, or a female and you're having problems with your reproductive system and you're under pressure because you need to deliver as a wife, but right. you don't want him to touch you because you're not quite, you're not really, you just ain't got the energy for that right now. Mm -hmm. And now wants to come talk to you about these things. Yes. So the educated tongue, the learned tongue through experience, mm -hmm. and he has endowed me mm -hmm. with the intelligence and the eloquence through the experience to be able mm -hmm. to deliver the word. Because I've experienced these things. Well, I ain't quite got to the menopause yet, but I did have some hot flushes because of the thyroid at one point. <laughs> so I know about the hot flushes, you know, and I've been settled before and been in a, in, in matrimonial setting. and you know, Not anymore, but I, I know what those things, that I can speak to you about those things. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? Amen. The Bible in Matthew 14, 23 says Jesus went up to where? The mountain. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go up that mountain today? By himself to pray until the evening was, and he was alone with God. In order to have, oh, you see, so many people want to run up in, run up in ministry and do this and that. In order to be able to have the learned tongue and to be qualified, you need, your tongue needs to be taught. And you must be willing to receive teaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many people don't want, they're unreachable and unteachable. The right. right. pop, the haughty spirit. Mm -hmm. I know it all. No, no leader going to tell me this. She's mm -hmm. not going to tell me that. They don't know mm -hmm. about this. Go, Wait, that cannot be present. We have to be teachable and reachable. Ooh, teachable. Jesus, when he went up to the mountain, he spent time with the Father. He was praying and he was being, in, the teaching was being imparted to him. Mm -hmm. What did he always say? He's come to do the what? The will of he who sent him. Yes, yes, yes. And in order to do that, he was spending time, the will was being revealed to him. So the time, ladies, the time spent with God is crucial. Yes, God. I work like some, like, like a lot of other women. And sometimes you get up in the morning and you're just, you're thinking, oh, but I'll tell you something now. Mm -hmm. Ain't my day starting without mm -hmm. my time with God. Mm -hmm. Ain't my time starting without my time with God. That is his time and yeah, my yeah. time. My day yeah, can't yeah. start right unless I yeah, go before yeah. him. I have to command the day and he has to tell me, mm -hmm. this is what I want you to do with today. This is how I want you to play it out today. Because he knows, remember, that my days are already fashioned. Mm -hmm. So I need to be in preparation. We must be good disciples, able to be taught. And in order to be taught, we must adopt the position of the pupil. He's the master teacher and we are the pupils. We're not the teacher. Mm. We have to be that pupil 
and, and acknowledge that he is the master. We need to be the disciple. It's like you're going to school. They're the teacher, I'm the pupil, I'm there to learn. So we are there to learn in order to go forth to others. And as the, long, as the learned tongue develops, I want you to know that you start to have a deep awareness of, of how to discipline your tongue. Mm -hmm. So many people lack the ability to discipline the tongue. Yes, yes. And that is so crucial, so crucial in able to do that. The scripture goes on that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary or she that is weary. What does that look like? The word has mm -hmm. now produced fruit. Mm -hmm. This word produced fruit in my life. It mm -hmm. produced fruit he's taught me pastor dean pastor dorm he's taught me to strengthen with a word mm -hmm. he's taught me to comfort others mm -hmm. he's taught me to teach them and to mm -hmm. come alongside them to sustain yes for them to be sustainable in his word yes for them to not be that ship without a sail but to mm -hmm. be Stay mm -hmm. by him to teach them not to tell them what to do but to come alongside them and mm -hmm. journey with them along the way not to judge people put people down or to cut them to sharpen mm -hmm. and to journey with them and to say these are my experiences he's qualified me through these to be able to to be in this position let me take a walk with you sister and let's do this thing together let's Let's, let's hold hands in the spiritual and let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to encourage them and to reiterate his word to them. To bring a word in season to someone who is burdened by the calamity mm -hmm. of life. To someone who is burdened in tribulation and trial. Someone who's burdened mm -hmm. with the guilt, the guilt of the, the errors that they've made in life or poor decisions mm -hmm. or judgment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. around the guilt and saying, Lord, I've been there. I've been there. I've yes. been there. Yeah. I can tell yeah. you about that. Of saying, Lord, why did I do that? You're still carrying someone on here. You're still carrying the guilt. God is saying, let it go, baby. I've, let, I've dealt with that thing. Baby girl, let it go. You don't need to carry that guilt anymore. What happened to you? You might have been thinking it's your fault. It's not your fault. Sometimes you were just dealt an injustice in life. It wasn't your fault. Sometimes you were just dealt an unfair card. Hallelujah. And the devil came in and he just tried to have his way with you. Yes. But baby girl, let it go. Yes. The devil's a liar. Release that pain and hurt. Release that guilt. Jesus is saying, come unto me. All you who are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Oh, his burden is easy. Yes, and yes, easy. yes, Lord. Like he's saying, come unto me. Yes, Lord. He will teach you. Yes. Go to him. Yes. He will teach you how to move yes. to the left, how yes. to move to the right. Because yes. when you're yoked, he says, learn from his yoke, yes. which means you follow his lead. Oh. He wants you to give it to him. Burdens of guilt, give it to him. Mm -hmm. Burdens of shame. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people put them together. They're two very different things. Guilt and shame are dangerous and they're used by the enemy to keep you bound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guilt yeah. and shame are not of God because mm -hmm. Jesus already paid the price. Mm -hmm. Because at the finished work of the cross, mm -hmm. he said, it is finished. Yes. I come to, to encourage and to stir up yes. someone's faith tonight. Yes. To speak a word of victory through mm -hmm. your calamity. Mm -hmm. To prophesy a word of breakthrough. Oh, just it as is. the children of Israel oh, came yes. forth on a dry land, mm. so you will come through on a dry land. I speak this prophetic word 
Someone who needs that breakthrough. You're coming through on a dry land. God just says what you need to do first. You need to give this thing to me. You've been carrying it too long. Too long. Oh, yes, God. You're going around like you're okay, smiling. You're not okay. Mm. It's deep. It's in the city of your soul. And he wants to reach in by the power of the Holy Spirit and rip it out from you. He don't want you carrying this load anymore. Yes, God. Some of you carrying shame. It's so heavy, you can't even progress in life. Yeah. Burdened with shame, and you can't even progress. Mm-hmm. Some of you scared to go and pursue that next relationship because you carry in the shame. God is saying, lay it down, baby. Lay it at the foot of the cross. Mm-hmm. Yes. Give it to me. Yes, Lord. I've got... Yes, Lord. I've got something better for you. I've got mm-hmm. your what next mm-hmm. is my joy to deliver. Your what's next is his joy to deliver it yes. to you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. He wake up the f- mm. morning by morning. We're still in Isaiah 50 and 4. Yes. What does it mean? He mm. wake up Morning by morning. What did that mean for me? Remember, I'm sharing with you my testimony of this word. I have learnt. Mm-hmm. It's the learning. I've been in the process. Yes, yes, yes. I've learnt that it means he instructs me early. Yes. Yes. The scripture didn't say he was going to do it at night. Notice as well, so the scripture says joy cometh in the morning. Mm-hmm. It didn't say it comes at the night. Mm-hmm. And here the scripture said, morning by morning, yes. he yes. instructs me early. Yes. So when I rise in the morning, mm-hmm. I rise to his instruction. Yes, yes, yes. In his word and what the Holy Spirit wants to mm-hmm. communicate to yes. me. Yes. I rise early Lord, Lord. to hear his instruction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, ladies, I'm going to tell you, I have experienced, oh, glory to God. I have experienced the most beautiful downloads from the Holy Spirit in the morning. morning. In the morning. And you know what I do? Sometimes I lay there, I could be laying there and he's down. And I have learned Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. jump quick and start writing down fast. Listen. Yeah. I never used to do that, Pastor Dawn, years ago. I just used to let, oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. <laughs> Ask me an hour later what yes, Lord was. I can't tell you. I don't remember. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's my truth. I'm not going to sit here and tell you something different. Thinking, mm-hmm. oh, what was that again? Mm. <laughs> and then I tell you something. It was quite funny. By the evening once this happened to me, I was then in the, all day, I was saying, Lord, what was that word again that you was telling me? Holy Spirit, what? And I was in the kitchen, I was washing the rice. I'm washing the rice, washing it. I say, Lord, I and I was angry. I said, Lord, you got to tell me, Holy Spirit, I'm there, I'm there telling the Holy Spirit in the kitchen while I'm washing. You got to tell me the word. You've got to, what was it? And, and, and I just heard say, you should have written it down. <laughs> I ran in the front room and I sat down and I said whenever I hear you mm-hmm. I'm going to stop what I'm doing yeah, write it down. I'm going to write it down if I even need to grab my phone and text it to myself and just mm-hmm. um, or email it to yeah. myself I'm going to write it down yes. so let me yeah. tell you yes. the learned time is a pro- I have learned so when I let I or it, I lay it and I go, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I start writing. And do you know mm-hmm. those have been some of the most powerful, powerful sermons and teachings that mm-hmm. I've ministered mm-hmm. 
word for word. Mm -hmm. All I had to do was fill in some of the dots. He gave me the word literally. Yes. Half an hour of just downloads. Yes. Sometimes he'll give me downloads. That's the topic I want you to. That's the theme for that month. That's a, and I'll be, oh, 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 I didn't. I say, Lord, I didn't think about that. That theme. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's just piling them up. Yes. Piling them up. Yes, yes. But the Holy Spirit, he instructs, he guides, mm -hmm. and he teaches. Hallelujah. Because I was seeking him. Yes. Psalms 143 and 8 mm. cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee do I trust. Cause me to what? To know the way wherein I should walk. Mm -hmm. For I lift up my soul unto thee. Mm -hmm. That's the prayer for the morning. Mm -hmm. When you seek him early, a prayer of full surrender. And Jesus went on to, to confirm in John 14, 26. Mm -hmm. But the comforter, hmm, mm. hmm, who is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in whose name? In his name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will teach you what? All things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And bring to your remembrance that which yes. he has taught you. So remember, we're in a position now. Jesus himself is now telling us, you have a teacher. So you're now alive. So your ear now needs to be in sync with the teacher and what it is and be in a place. And now that takes us on to, we need coming into um, our last couple of points here. Mm -hmm. He wakeneth my ear to hear, not just to hear, mm -hmm. as what? As the learned. Mm -hmm. Anybody can have an ear to hear, but remember, we're talking about specific now for the person as mm -hmm. the learned to awaken my ear. What does that mean to you? It, if somebody awakens my ear, it tells me that my ear is being prepared to hear something. If you have a hearing aid uh, or you had a hearing impairment, and they were going to give you a hearing aid, mm -hmm. they would give you a hearing aid so that you can hear. Yeah. The provision of a hearing aid is actually the prelude to you being able to hear. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come yeah. on. Yes, yes. Hmm. Come on. Yes. It's the prelude to you yeah. being able to hear. In the same way, hallelujah, that if I have a car, Mm -hmm. and i start the engine the prelude to me to, and i want to drive the prelude to me being able to drive would be that i have to start the engine mm -hmm. the same yeah. way in which god wants to open your ear yeah so that you can hear mm -hmm. as the learned yes and in hearing from him yes come in parallel with your experiences mm -hmm. that you've been qualified for now Yes. They come into alignment. And mm. then you're ready. Ooh. To receive instruction. Once again, the pupil and teacher syndrome. Are we trying to be the teacher? When I was going through this qualification process, the interview process, mm -hmm. the training process, it's important to remember when I tried to play teacher mm -hmm. and I tried to be fleshy, it wasn't going to work. Yes, God. The adopted pupil position has to be fully in place. We can't seek God for our calling and what we want him to do. Yes. And we can't keep trying to play mm. the potter when actually we're the clay. Yes. Too many of us want to be the potter. Mm -hmm. And we are the clay. And mm -hmm. that comes in line with the word. So what he was doing, he was preparing my ear, Pastor Dawn, to minister 
to the sinners, mm -hmm. to the backsliders, and to fellow believers alike. Mm -hmm. Because no one's better than anyone. Right. We are journeying and walking out this thing called life together. Without love, without judgment. Mm -hmm. Empathy without judgment. I'm not saying that we're to sit down and play full full. We're to be wise. We're called mm -hmm. to apply wisdom. Yes, yes. But it's important that we apply wisdom and we are very, we are really hearing what the Holy Spirit is, yes. is, is saying to us. Mm -hmm. And in order to go ahead with the learned tongue, to speak that word, to have your ear opened. The Bible says in Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other name under heaven that is given. It is by his name that we should be saved. Mm -hmm. So the learned tongue, the awakening of the ear to hear, mm -hmm. they will empower you and through the Holy Spirit and through surrender, it will equip you to go forward and to witness and to testify about the salvation available to us in Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. That's the calling. Yes. To go out and to save souls, to win souls. We can't just sit in our comfortable position and I'm mm -hmm. already saved and it's all about me. There's people out there whose souls are dying slowly. And we have to be out there and in a position mm -hmm. to be used. Mm -hmm. Ears have to be opened. Yes. And remember, it's not just our ears, it's their ears to yes. open their ears. Yes. yes. The fact that he's a healer, to open someone's ear, to hear that he's a deliverer, to open someone's ear, yes. and to hear that he is the God who orchestrated your purpose and deposited purpose in your life before the very foundations of the world. Yes. Yes. To open yes. someone's ear, yes. to know that shame and yes. guilt are not your burden. Yes. To open someone's mm -hmm. ear, to mm -hmm. learn and be fully persuaded about yes. the finished work of the cross. Yes. To open someone's ear, to know that you're more than what they said you were. Mm -hmm. That label that someone put on you as a child mm -hmm. or as a, or a man put on you, you're nothing, you're ugly, you're this, you're that, or a woman, or for some people, their own family and parents yes. have put labels on them that they're stuck with, like yes. glue, like you go into yes. the shop and you purchase something and it's got the sticky label and you're walking with the shoe and you didn't take off the label and it's sticking and it's sticking and you're thinking, oh, this damn label's at the back of this shoe. Lord, this, this label. And it's happened to me. And you pull off the shoe in the street and you pull off the label. <laughs> on so many and all standing up there with one foot in the tights on the floor and you're pulling off the label in the middle of a busy, busy road on the way to work. <laughs> For some people, that label has been like what? What's, what, what you've been dealing with in the form of mm -hmm. guilt, shame, and what somebody said about yes. you. Yes, yes. But God is saying, rip off that label. I come to tear off the cloak. Yes. I come to rip off the cloak. Yes. Which represents the label and the burden that you have been carrying. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. come to awaken your ear. Yes, yes. Morning yes. by morning. Yes. And to give you through experience. Mm -hmm. I want to tell someone tonight because I feel like I need to say it. Every experience that you have had, even the worst, mm -hmm. even the, oh, the deepest, the most painful, even mm -hmm. the trial, the tribulation, even the greatest disappointments, and sometimes when you're in it, you can't see it. And sometimes if it's been something that's just come and it's just tragic and you can't explain it and you feel like maybe you had a stage where you was upset with God, you didn't realise why this was happening to you. Mm -hmm. I've come to tell you tonight, mm -hmm. God will not let one drop of your experiences go to waste. He, it's like you're pouring, who knows? I don't drink milk. But who wants to know, who, who knows that if you're making a cup of tea, I make tea for my daughter. Oh, milk, mum, and sugar. 
extra sugar she likes. <laughs> so when you pour the milk, imagine you're pouring the last drop of that milk. Even my late grandfather used to do it. He used to shake the bottle and look at it. He could <laughs> see what was in it, but he... <laughs> the older generation, you know what I mean? What is in there? <laughs> and then pour it. Or my dad, if he uses a jar of sauce, and he pours it. Do you know he will add water to it and shake it to get the last <laughs> of you out? Okay. And I'll be thinking, really? <laughs> and me and my sister will look at each other and go, that's getting on, you know. <laughs> you shake it. You can't leave none to waste. No, 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 this is good stuff. He says in his Grenadian, and my dad's Grenadian. So he will say in his Grenadian, said, this, is, eh, eh. this is good stuff, man. And we'll be like, oh, God, dad. But <laughs> in the same way, <laughs> God is not going to let one drop mm -hmm. of your experience go to waste. He's going to use everything. Right. And if you surrender and you allow him, he's going to put you in the right place around the right person at the right time to speak a word to one who is weary in the right season your experience you might not even need to speak that word for another five six years you know mm -hmm. but i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm still laughing about my dad in the jar every time i picture him i laugh <laughs> You might you you might not even get a chance, or you might God might not give you the opportunity for five, ten years. Mm -hmm. But you might just meet somebody at a bus stop one day mm -hmm. and be able to witness to her mm -hmm. about an experience that you had. Or a young girl might come to you, mm -hmm. and God might just put her in your midst mm -hmm. and be going through something. Yes, yes, yes. And you might be able to say to her, when I was your age, I'm not here to judge you, baby girl. Mm -hmm. When I was your age, 17, I made a mistake and I found myself in an entanglement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that mm -hmm. God loves you, girl. Let me just put my arms around you and tell and come alongside you. Mm -hmm. So what you think might not be of value, yes. God will not waste one drop. Yes. And Mr. Distractions, yes. and Mr. Life Circumstances that I've had, God still wanted me to hear from him. Yes. Even when I let the distractions in over the years, yes. he still wanted me to mm -hmm. hear from him because he was still speaking to me all the time. I'd be in the car and I'd hear this voice and I'd be like, who said that? Who said that? I had to learn his voice. Yes, yes. I had to hear him. I had to be reachable and teachable. And because of that, I needed to make sure that my mm -hmm. ear was open. He, he wanted to open them. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I just want to tell everybody as well, that you need to learn as we start to just wind down now, mm -hmm. you need to learn to block out the noise. Mm -hmm. You need to protect your mind, ladies. Mm -hmm. You need to protect your mental space mm -hmm. and your mm -hmm. mental peace. Mm -hmm. Block out the noise. As mm -hmm. women, the enemy mm -hmm. does, and I'm not giving the enemy no credit. I'm just saying it from experience. Mm -hmm. Distractions will come in so many forms. Mm -hmm. Protect your mental space. Be intentional about your mindset. The Bible says, we all know the scripture, Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind mm -hmm. be in you what was also in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. You must take a responsibility mm -hmm. for your mindset and protect your mental mm -hmm. space. You need a healthy mental space mm -hmm. to be able to really walk and understand your purpose and to function effectively. I'm not saying that God, God will use anybody but I'm saying that when you come into a place and you're going to be strengthening others, you want your mind to be in a place where you're, uh, you can adopt a position to do so. And last but not least, timing. Yes. What can I tell you about, in closing, what I've learned 
as the scripture Isaiah 50 and 4 has produced endless fruit in my life, which mm -hmm. to God I'm so grateful for. Mm -hmm. Would I change any of my experiences, harsh as some of them have been? They've made me who I am today. Yes. I would be, if I said yes, I would be doing God an injustice. I would be not doing God an injustice, but I would be watering down mm -hmm. the power of my testimony mm -hmm. in him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be diluting that, and that would be a tragedy to dilute my mm -hmm. testimony because it's a powerful one. Oh. I, you know, I haven't even, even scraped the surface of any of it, really. I'm just sharing with you this particular scripture and how my the ministry restored and walking in greatness has been birthed. So timing, God's timing was key. If I tried to run ahead of God, it weren't happening. And the book of Habakkuk always comes to me regarding timing. The Bible says, write the vision and make it plain. The prophetic word was already there all those years ago. But it tarried. It was supposed to tarry while I was in the qualification process. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell someone today, do not despise your qualification process. Mm -hmm. Do not, do not despise, do mm -hmm. not despise your qualification process. Because what your qualification process does is it place it puts you in a position where Isaiah 50 and 4 can bear fruit in your life. Don't dilute that testimony. Do not dilute. Do not dilute your testimony for anyone. Because it's who you are and that itself is what will enable someone else to be saved and to come into a place to experience salvation. I had to go through the process, ladies, and here I am. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm still learning so much daily. My ears are open to hear from the Lord. I rise early to hear from him. Sometimes I've got to tell you, it will be in the middle of the night. He doesn't download to me in the middle of the night, but in the middle of the night is when the Holy Spirit likes to whisper things to me. He whispers things to me in the middle of the night mm -hmm. and he likes to download in the morning mm -hmm. because uh, he awakens my ear to hear morning by morning according to Isaiah 50 and 4. And last but not least, when you pursue God and you're desperate for him, the Bible says, doesn't it, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Jesus said in Matthew 7 and 7, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Hallelujah. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. So I want to encourage you tonight. Keep seeking. Keep knocking. Keep pursuing God. Run after the things of God. Be intentional about pursuing your relationship with God. Be intentional. And no matter what happens in life, the highs and the lows, hold on to Jesus. I've had some experiences in a half, I tell you, that would make your head spin. But I'm telling you, I have held on to Jesus all the way. He is a rock in a weary place. He is a firm foundation. When the storm comes and the waves beat against you and they beat against me, I have learned that I have built my faith and my house on a firm foundation, which is the rock and not the sand. Hallelujah. He is your deliverer, mighty in battle. If you've got a health issue, ladies, he's your healer. He wants all of you, not part of you. He wants all of you. So be encouraged. I dare you to tap into Isaiah 50 and 4 and watch that word produce fruit. He will use everything, everything he will use 
and not one drop of your experiences will go to waste. God bless you all. I love you dearly. And I look forward to connecting and continuing just to pray for this awesome ministry and thanking God for what he's going to do for us in, in, in this network in that he's he's allowed to happen. Um, Pastor Dawn, thank you so much. God bless you all. God bless you. Oh, my, 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 my. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, ladies. I, I pray that you all took good notes, got a word from the Lord. I got several. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. My God, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Hey, kiss somebody, Sire. He kissed somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, kiss somebody, Sire. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Deliver Lord. now. Deliver. 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 Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Deliver. Deliver, Lord. Deliver. Yes. God. Burden. Oh, the the guilt and the shame is prevalent. Mm -hmm. Deliver. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Deliver. Mm -hmm. The guilt and the shame. Deliver. Mm -hmm. Deliver. Mm -hmm. Deliver. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Deliver. Mm -hmm. Mighty. Thou art the one who delivered yeah, yeah, David yeah, yeah, yeah. out of the hand of his enemies. Thou yeah, art the yeah, one who yeah, delivered yeah, David. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Mighty oh, deliverance. Yes, Mighty deliverance. Yeah, yeah. Thou art the one who has delivered us. Oh, out of the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. 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 Deliver, Lord Jesus. Saturate, Lord, this life. Saturate the women on this broadcast, oh God. Thank you for their lives, Lord. Let this word go forth like fire. And I pray that it will bear fruit. This seed of this word will not fall on deaf ears. It will produce fruit and spring up in the heart of oh, every yeah. woman who has heard this word this evening. Oh, yeah, yeah. It will bear fruit. Yes. And the fowls of the air will not come to devour the seed that has gone forth. For anyone tonight that's heart has felt stony for so long, exchange that hot soil tonight. That the word will be absorbed. The seeds will soak into their soil. And the water of the word will absolutely fertilize and bear fruit in their lives. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for this word tonight. I thank you for this word tonight. For the opportunity to share yes, yes. from the city of my soul. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, sometimes we wonder why. We say, why, Lord? Why? How is this happening? Why? But thou art said in Isaiah 50 and 4, because I need to qualify you. Yes, yes, yes. I need to qualify and educate your tongue. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. I need to qualify you. Yes, God. I need to educate your tongue. Yes, God. So that when thou art converted, yeah, yeah, thou will go forth and strengthen thy brethren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason why. That you will go forth and strengthen that brethren when you've been converted, when your tongue has been educated, that you'll go forth and strengthen. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, no, no. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. he wants you oh, yeah, yeah. when you've been converted. Yes, Lord. To strengthen. Yes, God. Yes. Thy brethren. And not just the believer. Yes. It's the unbeliever. Mm. He wants you to strengthen the broken heart. Yes. No, 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 to go out no, 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 and to strengthen no, 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 thy brethren. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Do not despise the <laughs> qualification process. Mm. It is necessary that you will be converted to do the will of He who has called you, chosen you. For such a time as this. Hey, my son, what I see. Her. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory. My, 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 my. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> yes, 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 mm. yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. My God in heaven, my God in heaven. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I think there's just a soaking. There's a soaking. I think there's a soaking right now. There's a soaking. There, there was a planting, but now, we, you, you, oh, you see, it was sown. And I'm just hearing the word, I'm soaking it now. I hear the word soaking. You see, the seed that's been sown tonight, that word, I hear the word, I hear. Yes, I hear the Lord saying the one word, soaking. Mm, he didn't give me a sentence, just the word soaking. He's soaking, he's water, he's not even watering, you know. Yes. Where the word has been planted, he's soaking it. Yes. Yes. You know, when you water a plant and you soak the soil, oh, he's soaked, he's soaking it. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, mm. somebody soak it. Soak me, Lord. Soak oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor Jordan, I feel weak in the spirit, you know. He's soaking, he's soaking, he's soaking. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Uh, 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 That's how I know that the word's poured out because I, I can feel it in my oh, body. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. I can yes, feel it. I can yes. feel it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, Somebody did tweak, you're going to go back and meditate on this word. Yes. <sighs> yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Praise him. <sighs> Praise him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. Praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Thank you for hearts that have been obedient mm. and come together this evening in obedience oh, yeah, yeah, no. to your words and to your calling. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. It's soaking, it's soaking, it's soaking, it's soaking. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. In the words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Soak in the word. Soak it. Soak it, Lord, over all everyone on the last. Soak it. Soak it. Soak it. Soak it. Drench it. Soak. To soak. What does it mean? To drench. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be completely hydrated. Oh, over hydrated. Soak. Soak it. Soak it. Soak them, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. When they say to you, don't water that plant too much. Yes, yes, oh. yes. He's soaking you tonight. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, there's a stirring. There's a stirring. There's a stirring. <laughs> there is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's heavy. It's, it's heavy. Stirring. Yes, yes. Oh, my, 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 my. Yes. I said there was a real hunger tonight and a thirst. Yes. Yeah. He's not dabbing the palate anymore. He's just soaking. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. <laughs> I really am trying to, we're trying to move on, but God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. The Holy Spirit is having his way. He's soaking. He's soaking. Oh. Oh. For so many, it would become oh. evident. Why you had to go through. It will become evident why you had to go through. It will not be wasted. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Glory. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Praise him. Bless his name. I know. We've become a mess in the spirit. Oh, Jesus. of humor <laughs> because what the enemy thought was all for your bad Jeremiah 29 and 11 just rocks up <laughs> plans to prosper and not to harm to give you hope and to give you a future hallelujah do not despise the qualification process <laughs> the devil loses every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> He's a joke. Is that maybe that's why we're laughing? He's a joke. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, ladies. We just <laughs> we, we just the Lord is just having his way. <laughs> God is so intentional. Yes. He's so intentional. He is. Oh, he my really goodness. Is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He is. Ooh. He is. And, and people will say, yes. why am I going through all of this? Yes. What did I do to get all of, what did I do to bring all of this upon me? What did I say? How did I, what, what happened that I deserve to go through this? Yes. <clears throat> See, the going through is not just for you. No, that's, come on. Beca because you said God will not let one drop of our experience go Amen. to waste. Amen. So no matter what we go through, it's not going to waste. It's no. going to help somebody. That's right. His words, my word will not return to me void. void. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So even in the going through process, yes, he's right there with us. Amen. And the going through means that then you got destination. He got a destination for you because Amen. there's somebody waiting on the other side to Ooh. need to know what you've been through because they think they're the only one. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Whew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the Lord is good and worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Yeah. Worthy to be praised. All right. All right. I need you all. If you've been blessed by the word, and I know you have, I know you've been blessed by the word because I've been blessed by the word. I took a lot of notes. And so I know you've been blessed by the word. I want you to get your best seat for Evangelist Wells and oh. sow it right there to the cash app, to the Venmo. And we're going to get it to her oh. glory because of the whole international thing. We got to do it a special way. So you sow right to the women who pray and I will make sure everything that is sown for the woman of God, she will get it. She will get it across the waters. She will get it. Glory to God. Who could you... There's some, I'm sitting here listening to you and I, and yeah. I said, God just connected kindred spirits. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. And, I, and like I said before, I got to get to London because I got to get in a big red bus. Come on. Get the picture in the phone booth. <laughs> yes. And then we have to go up to the shard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Amen. We're going to be praying. we're going to be praying on that. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my 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 my. What a word, what a word, what a word. I feel I, I, I feel um what's the word? I feel that something major has gone out of me this evening. I feel in my spirit. I feel. Oh, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. And and you have just ministered all in my. <laughs> Amen. Oh yes, Lord. It's joined the dots together, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I get it. Put the pieces of puzzle together. Yes. And, and Sister Natalie, she says she's coming with me. She's going to be my armor bearer. Amen. Yes. Amen. You better you better come on here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're yes. going to be praying on that. We're going to be, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be, yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. ready. 2022, get ready. Yes. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, okay. We're trying to get off. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> Somebody put in here, mind the gap. <laughs> We're trying to get off. We better mind the gap. We can't get off. <laughs> it's a sister telling me said, mind the gap. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm laughing because in London, when you got you've got obviously the subway in America, we call it the underground here in London. Mm -hmm. And there's some stations you literally have to like mind the gap. The gap between yeah. the train and the platform is so wide. Oh, that's Pastor John's. That's yeah. Pastor John's that was on with us. Oh yes, so Pastor. Oh yeah, <laughs> greetings, Pastor John. And every time we're trying to get off, <laughs> the gap of what the Lord has done is 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 brought such joy. We actually can't get off. The gap is so wide. <laughs> So it reminded me, she said that mind the gap, that, that visual of yes. taking a big step off of the underground um, in London. It's, yeah, we have some stations, the gap is like that. And people have actually fallen through the gap. It's happened. Oh. So, yeah, yeah. So um, that mind the gap bit, that's, that bit's obviously not comical, but just oh. with reference to us <laughs> trying to get off, that um, <laughs> has been somewhat humorous. Whew. Okay. 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 God yes, bless Lord. you, ladies. Oh, so many of you are love. God bless you. Yeah. Um, do connect. Yes. Um, on the your, your page. 
respond. Yeah, to so uh, um, just reach out to me on the profile, yeah. um, Elysia Wells. Alternatively, send me a message on Messenger. Yeah, so I know who you are, and just say, you know, this is who I am. I was on Women That Play yes. on, last on Friday night or Thursday night. So our Friday, your Thursday, <laughs> um, your Friday. Let us know. Let me know who you are, so that yeah. I can. Um, know who you are and connect you yes. um yes. connect with you and then come and join us at this stored yes. and great um facebook group we've got a fantastic yeah. group doing yes. great things we broad a broadcast it won't, it won't be probably best for your time but 9 p.m uk time on a tuesday night but the vid the, the replays are always up there on the live you can go back and watch them oh, yeah. um and we're doing lots of great things in the ministry we have speakers coming on as well uh, we have pastor dawn come join us one day as well to come into you come minister with a word to us yes. um and we're just well, that'll be easy because it's be that's like in midday for me <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And like I said, and we always say we're here to journey. I always say to yes. women in the ministry, we're here to journey together. We're not here to put judgment on people, tear people down. Um, right. Just we're not in any of that foolishness. Right. We're here about kingdom business. Yes. How can I sharpen yes. you? How can you sharpen me? Yes. Let's do this thing together. Yes. Amen. 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 Ooh. Oh, my, my, my. Well, Father. <laughs> <laughs> thank you lord <laughs> father in the name of the lord jesus we thank you for Amen. all that has transpired on tonight yes god i pray your choice blessings thank you over lord. your children over your daughters god yes. i pray father that you would continue to uh stir our spirit oh god as we Hallelujah. continue on our day yes. i pray god that you would uh, uh bless and keep us use us oh god for your Hallelujah. glory Yes, Jesus. fill this word in our spirit, oh God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. In yes. the mighty name of Jesus. So good. And the saints of God would say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We Woo. thank you, Lord. We look forward to hearing about the fruit. Yes. Of that, are, that are, yes. That are going to um, be growing, developing um, yes. off the back of this word tonight. Amen. Yes, absolutely. Applying the word. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. I was blessed. I was blessed. I have been. My goodness. And it's good to have a sister that would just laugh in the spirit with me. Oh yeah. I didn't even know what was happening. I just found myself waiting and thinking, "What next?" The Holy Spirit just. Took over. And that's a good Amen. thing. Amen. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Whew. Will you all be blessed, be encouraged, keep praying. We will see you back here in the morning, nine o'clock Pacific Standard Time for winning with my sisters. Amen. Uh, uh, um, evangelist, you sit still and you all be blessed and we will see you. And then next Friday, we'll be back here for another Friday Night Live with Pastor Tanya Johns. Glory to God. Whew. Love you all. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye ladies. <laughs>